So I want to ask you this simple question. What does patriotism mean to you? Is patriotism having a giant American flag in front of your house, shooting off fireworks, and saying, hell yeah, America? Or does it mean more? Does patriotism mean that you give up a lot of your own freedoms so that others can have theirs? Or does patriotism simply mean that you care so much about something that you're willing to give up your own life for it? Well, that just depends on the person. Sometimes patriotism is all about expressing a love for your country. Sometimes it's as simple as a flag being painted on your car. As simple as that might be. Sometimes patriotism is something that you say. But what's the point of saying something if it doesn't mean anything to you? So it has to have meaning behind it in order for it to have an impact. So when I say that I love my country, it's because I've fought and defended it. I know the meaning behind these words. But no matter what patriotism is, each and every one of us that has ever served or will serve understands it at its core. It's all about how much you're willing to sacrifice for it. Some are willing to sacrifice everything, while others like hanging flags in their front yard and shooting out fireworks. But remember that patriotism is still important no matter how big your sacrifice is, whether large or small. It's about remembering what your country stands for and where it came from. It's about remembering those that came before you and those who will surely come after you. It's about respecting what we have and understanding that it's not permanent. And one of the first things we think of when we think of patriotism, it's the American flag. And what does the American flag stand for? The 50 stars of the flag represent the 50 states of the United States of America. The 13 stripes represent the 13 British colonies that declared independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain that eventually became the first states of the Union. The red signifies valor, bravery, and bloodshed. The white on the flag signifies purity and innocence. The blue signifies vigilance, perseverance, and justice. So the red, white, and blue are more than just colors to us. They have meaning, and we can't forget that. The words don't tread on me are more than just words. This was one of the original American flags. An American general named Christopher Gadsden came up with the flag in 1775 during the American Revolution. It signified that we were dangerous and not to be messed with. This was one of the earliest forms of the United States flags until it was replaced with Old Glory, the flag that would eventually become the American flag that we're all so familiar with today. The flag that many have fought bled and even died for. It has so much more meaning to us than what we really realize. It's a symbol of sacrifice. It's a symbol of pride. It's a symbol that when the going gets tough, we don't give up. <sighs> they keep lifting. It looks good to me, dude. I appreciate that. I'm just gonna have to... You're gonna stop being so hard on yourself, huh? I know. And when I designed this flag, I wanted it to proudly represent all of those core values. But if you've been a fan of my channel for any bit of time, you'll know. I tend to screw things up a little bit. Like for instance, on this flag, I didn't space out the stripes properly. And when you have OCD like me, it drove me completely mad. Man, I can't believe I screwed that up. Ah, my knee. <sighs> Always screwing something up, it seems like. But I wasn't about to let that stop me from making a beautiful flag. So I spent a few days and eventually I fixed it. Until it was a flag that I could be proud of. And I think in the end, it turned out just the way it was meant to be. So some of you may not know what Til Valhalla actually means. The idea of Valhalla comes from Norse mythology, 
It is depicted as a hall of slain warriors who live there blissfully under the leadership of the god Odin. Valhalla is depicted as a splendid place roofed with shields, where the warriors feast on the flesh of a boar, slaughtered daily and made whole again each evening. They drink liquor that flows from the udders of a goat, and their sport is to fight one another every day. Thus they will live until the Ragnarok, also known as Doomsday, when they will march out the 540 doors of the palace to fight at the side of Odin against the giants. When heroes fall in battle, it is said that Odin needs them to strengthen his forces for the Ragnarok. It is essentially a warrior's heaven. The saying till Valhalla is a saying amongst warriors, in that when we lose a warrior, we're saying not goodbye, but that we will fight alongside them in heaven. So when I designed this car, I didn't initially design it just to be patriotic. I designed it to honor those sacrifices. And this is an example of how I like to express my patriotism. It's in neutral. But in order for you to understand the concept of patriotism, I need to put it into context. I'm going to read you a poem from an author from 1917, back in World War I. It's called The Final Inspection. And hopefully it will clarify things just a little bit more. It's leaking. We'll pop it. But it's running. But it's leaking. The Final Inspection. The soldier stood and faced God, which must always come to pass. He hoped his shoes were shining just as brightly as his brass. Step forward now, you soldier. How shall I deal with you? Have you always turned the other cheek? To my church, have you always been true? The soldier squared his shoulders and said, No, Lord, I guess I ain't. Because those of us who carry guns can't always be a saint. I've had to work most Sundays, and at times my talk was tough, and sometimes I've been violent because the world is awfully rough. But I never took a penny that wasn't mine to keep, though I worked a lot of overtime when the bills just got too steep, and I never passed a cry for help, though at times I shook with fear, and sometimes God forgive me. I've wept many unmanly tears. I know I don't deserve a place among the people here. They never wanted me around except to calm all of their fears. If you've a place for me here, O oh Lord, it needn't be so grand. I've never expected or had too much, but if you don't, I'll understand. There was a silence all around the throne where the saints had often trod. As the soldier waited quietly for the judgment of his God. Step forward now, you soldier. You've borne your burdens well. Walk peacefully on heaven's streets. You've served your time in hell. And now, what you really came here for. Woo! Jesus! That's just a little bit, that wasn't even in it. Are you even opening the secondaries? Not at all. <laughs> Look at that smell. Wow, it feels so good. Cool. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> we're going 
So if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because, well, if you made it this far, you'll probably want to see some of the other stuff we got. So feel free to check it out. Click subscribe. Check out some of these other videos we got, and we'll see you all in the next one.